Hi, I'm Craig Blazer. I work here at Harkin. I am part of the tech team. Harkin got into the winch business actually in the summer of 1987 when they bought the uh, Barbarossa winch factory in uh, Italy. The original Barbarossa winches were designed starting in the early 80s. Um, they made a full line as they supplied them to uh, builders in Europe. Well, we did make a lot of changes to the line over the years. Uh, the classic line, the original Barbarossa winches, were very well designed, well made, and there's a lot of them out there. The basic uh, classic winch. You can see it's uh, very heavy duty. Bronze castings, stainless steel roller bearings. Uh, there's a lot of features put into these. Uh, each gear is on uh, roller bearings on the inside for the loads. There's a drum bearing here that the drum would sit on. Spring-loaded self-tailing for different line sizes. So this is the classic line, and it was basically bronze configuration. Uh, to redesign the winch to make it lighter, more efficient, and easier to service, uh, we did redesign the entire line and came out with the radial winches. There was features we wanted to change to, uh, to get away from. The weight for one, cost for another. So we went to the aluminum housing for lightweight. The plastic bearings kind of came out of that. They're, it's a material that's uh, kind of based on our Harkin blocks. Um, so these are very easy to maintain less wear on the drum, whereas this one is all metal and uh, can actually needs more grease so you have more friction. So this being a racing winch, when we redesigned um, the winches to get come out with the radial line, we put these features, kind of combined them. Uh, we took the, the gear ratios and the size of the winches that we knew people had and uh, we put features like the aluminum and uh, composite bearings. This is the radial winch. It, it's noted for its radial ribs on the drum, which uh, gives a very good grip um, and less wear on the drum, less wear on the line. Uh, a standard sandblasted drum can be very abrasive to the lines and can also wear out after time so then you don't have enough grip. So with the radial line it, it uh, kind of solves that problem as well. Let me open up a radial winch and I'll show you the inside. You just take out the handle socket, simple screwdriver. The stripper arm is held on by three screws which you can just back off. You don't need to remove them all the way. Rotate that and take it off. The jaws have a line peeler, which is uh, used to pull a line out as it comes around, which fits into the stripper arm. The drum then lifts off. Take the rest of the winch apart. Another feature is um, a lot of times with older winches, you pull the drum off, and these bearings, if they have grease on them, can stay in the in the barrel and drop over overboard. Uh, with the with the radial, we designed a little feature where these the bearings are held in by a slight uh, lip on the housing. These are the main bearings. Now all radial winches can be completely serviced without removing from the deck. So they have a a, a base which stays bolted down, and the housing. Uh, and drum support can be removed and you pull it off to the main shaft and you can just pull this housing off to get at the gears for service. Generally this is called the drive gear or pinion gear. This turns the drum which is the the, the teeth are cut into the drum and they're turned by this. You always want to orient the load to this gear. So it's an important point for 
uh, for, for strength, that this gear is always where the line is coming onto the drum. On the side of the skirt, there's a little line with that points out that this is where the load should be onto the drum. Okay, obviously this is the drum. This is the self-tailing jaws. This is the center shaft, which uh, is basically ties the winch handle to the gear train inside. I'll take the gears apart. Okay, this is the gear cluster. These are the the pawls that you hear clicking, which is. Uh, so as you turn the gear, you can see the pawls. You normally would just have oil on the pawls and grease on the gear teeth. So you can see there's also bushings to isolate the stainless steel from the aluminum. At, so you never have actually any metal contact with the aluminum housing or the base. Everything is isolated. The weight savings depends on the, the size of the winch. But this is a 48 and this is a 50. Uh, this winch weighs about 20 pounds and this winch weighs about 12 pounds. So six winches on a boat, that's a big savings of weight. Um, in a lot of cases, you can uh, replace your winch with a new radial winch of a smaller size. Um, because it's more efficient, uh, we compared them to Lumar winches in some cases, and because of the architecture, we have a, a bigger center stem, and we can get more bearings taking the load, and that translates to uh, more efficiency.